Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. And today we will see how to build a Java program from GitHub using Jenkins. That means in our previous sessions we have seen the git commands. How can we move the files from working environment to local repository and the local repository to the remote repository. So for that we have used the source code control that is a version control system that is a git and github. Now we will try to run the java application which is available in remote repository using Jenkins. So in our previous sessions we have already seen how to install the Jenkins, how to install and configure. Now I will make use of that and I am completely uh, uh, demonstrating this in the Unix environment. So the same way whatever the process we are doing here the same way you can follow in the Windows environment also no need to worry. So for that we require a Java application I have written a small hello world program I will show you. So we have created a demo and inside the demo we have created a sample so this is our repository I will show you right. So sample is our repository and here we are having a different files. See already in our previous session we have uh, uh, created some contact index html etc etc and here I have also created one simple java program. Let me show that program gedit uh, hello.java. So you can check this is a simple hello world program right. So it was executed so let me uh, show you java c hello.java so compilation after compilation next we have to install i mean we have to run the class file so hello dot i mean java followed by hello so it was executed right now i have already moved this hello dot java to the remote repository i'll show you so in the remote repository also i have pushed this one so you can check here yes let me show you github and see here our repository is a sample repository you can check here so this is a sample repository click on repository i have already pushed some files see these are all files available in the remote repository so contact hello.java is available here now we are supposed to run this hello.java from jenkins integrated tool so in order to start this jenkins what we have to do so we have to open with a local host right so local host 8080 so it doesn't open so here we have to start the service right so sudo sudo system ctl start jenkins right so now you can simply run this one so here you can uh, just log in with the password uh, your credentials i have created this credentials uh, during the installation so i am just log in with your credentials and once you get login then we have to build a project from the github okay see this is a home page a dashboard we can call it as a dashboard and here on the left side we will be having a different options build history and manage jenkins here we will be finding different plugins okay we can enable the plugins there and we can configure the plugins right so coming to the new item let us create the new project okay click on new item click on new item so here we have to give the item name so i'll give some first program okay or first java program and there will be different options freestyle project we can create a freestyle project and another one is a pipelining okay and multi configuration project just a folder multi branch pipeline and organization folder different options will be there so you can go with the first one freestyle project so click ok 
So once it was done, you'll be getting a different options. See different options here description. You can uh, give a brief description on your project and that will be an optional. So it's not mandatory. So here you can leave all these things by defaults, right? So discard, so don't, don't uh, check all these boxes, just leave it default. But coming to the second one, source code management, here we have to select the Git because we are, we are going to run the program from a repository, right? So uh, select the Git. So inside the Git, you'll be finding repository URL and credentials. So just copy the uh, repository. So here code. So click on this one. So this is the URL of repository. So copy this one and paste the link here and credentials coming to the credentials. If your repository is a public, you need not go with the credentials. If your repository is a private, then you have to give the credentials here. See, there are some credentials I have added, right? So if our repository is a private, then only these credentials are required. Otherwise, it's not required, right? So just move down and coming to the branches. So in your repository, in which branch the file is existed, right? Go here. So here, the fi my file is available in main, okay? We can check whether there are any other branches there are no branches only main so and this handle java is also available in this main so rename this one master rename change this name from master to main make sure the branch name should be clear right and see coming to the build steps scroll down and you'll be getting the build steps so you have to add here and here you will be finding a lot of options execute to window batch command execute cell invoke and gradle script top level maven targets run with the timeout etc etc so we are using the linux environment so we need to select the execute shell okay if you are using the windows operating system you have to select the windows batch command that's the only difference in all the complete process okay so Mine is uh, line, Linux environment. I'll select the execute shell. And a text box will be there. Here we have to write down the commands in order to execute the Java file. So what are the commands we have? We are going to do in order to execute a Java file. The first one is compilation. So Java C hello dot Java. And what is the next command? Run. So Java hello. So these two commands will execute the hello.java. So after that, just uh, go with the apply, save. So now a pro one project will be created with a name first Java program. So this is the project. And here you will be finding the build now. So you can click on build now so that the project will be built. And we can execute that one, see. Here you can observe the date and time is available when we are building the project and it was still running. So if this comes with the green color, that implies, see, here green tick is appeared. That means our file or our program has been built successfully. If there are any errors, automatically we'll get some red color tick mark. Okay, so select this one, click on this one. So you'll be getting the complete details okay started by so and so run send and revision repository you are you, you are going to see here and see a console output go with the console output in the menu so that you'll be get a complete information see started by so and so running a system building in workspace so this is the workspace where the program has been done right and uh, no credential specified because this is a public repository i'm not giving any rep uh, credentials and see if the first step we have we are going to run the program which is available in the github right so first we have to clone the complete repository so cloning the complete repository and then see fetching upstream changes and then see your complete uh, whatever the commands we have given that commands will be executed java c hello dot java java hello so you can see the output welcome to java and finished so the status of this project is finished with success right so like this we can run 
any kind of projects which are available in remote repository into i mean in jenkins of our computers right so hope you understood this one and if you again want to go see what are the available uh, uh, programs or projects done so here you will be getting so go with the dashboard so previously there are no programs which are being executed but now we have executed first program so the same thing here so click on this one so the complete details will be here and if you want to again change the settings go with the configure so again the same commands will be appeared here right same options will be appeared here so then here you can simply change your code or change your uh, uh, yeah, instructions right so hope you understood so once again i am briefing that i have created one java file and i have pushed that java file into the remote repository that means a github and now i have run uh, started the service of jenkins and i have opened the home page that is a localhost 8080 and inside that we are creating one project by clicking on new item and i am going to run the java file which is available in a remote repository of github in jenkins so for that we have created a different options we have set the different options right so whatever the commands we are using the same commands we have, we have done in the build steps option right yes so hope you understood this one and if you are having any uh, queries regarding this process feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much